finds himself in the uncomfortable position of not being the defending champion. He was knocked out earlier than that last year, and he's looking to come back with a vengeance here against Paulo Miao, his black belt debut, making it to the finals here. Scores. That's huge. One referee. Both Second referees reference. retract it. Both side referees retract it. Guillermo looking to take away space and apply pressure passing. No easy feat passing Paolo's guard. Now these guys trained together for several months at Art of Jiu Jitsu Academy. Both Mendez brothers trained with both Miao brothers. So they're very familiar with each other's games, each other's tricks. But it's an advantage for neither one mm -hmm. because they both know each other's game. Couple differences. One, the Mendez brothers have, do have been doing it longer. And arguably you could say that the Miao brothers are playing the Mendez brothers game. But to the Miao's advantage, the Miao's are not teaching. Whereas the Mendes brothers are spending a lot of time teaching, and we know that that affects a competitor's uh, ability to compete at the highest level. Yep. He right now holding the belt to keep his leg lassos at bay. Paulo utilizing the double lassos. Something that you see some of the lighter weight uh, competitors do. Steps over the leg. He's going to be able to start to generate a little bit more pressure here. Yeah, he may he may opt to pass towards his right and then change it back towards a leg drag on that left side. That belt grip. Sometimes he's able, you're able to get this ankle and walk back towards that lasso side. He's able to recover his leg position. Switching to the collar and leg lasso. He undid the lapel there. So he could be looking for some uh, feeding of the lapel. Oh, uh, yeah. Got that knee in the middle nicely. He's getting under him a little bit. Jeremy yeah. gets into his uh, yeah. signature pass here. Yep. Let's see it. Paul is able to invert to recover. Yep. Uh, yep. Under an advantage. I haven't seen that advantage go up on the board. Going for a knee. Watch these tricky positions here. First points on the board. Go to Paulo. The arm He's going for an arm lock. An arm lock he's experienced very well. Going behind the elbow, working the 50-50 arm bar. And if the arm lock isn't there, you could potentially use it to just recover out of the 50-50. Very interesting to me that that advantage was not recorded by the scorekeeper. And that could play a role.
Actually, I think it was because there wasn't a good double guard pull. Were you but thinking they, they, but they, they, they over just wiped off the points and then there was nothing, I think. So just didn't one pull. athlete come on top? No. Uh, uh, just, Jeremy coming on top at, or award the advantage, you know? No, but he shot in for the takedown. Got it. Yeah. So we didn't have a double, quite a, that double guard pull there. This is some tangled legs right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a calf slicer on one side, a knee bar on the other. Oh. Both have the collar grips. Interesting use of the gi by Guillermo Mendes here. Well, it's holding Paulo to that side pretty well. The jacket. So we can pull him a little sideways. And both guys are utilizing the same grip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Penalty for passivity for both. Locks looking better all the time that Guillermo has. Paul looking to set up a toe hold here. Gi winning by a single advantage. That it, that ankle lock is looking looks definitely better. He might win himself an advantage for that. Hard to imagine Paulo tapping to it. Yeah. And Gi as well with the toe hold. Mm -hmm. Don't see him tapping from that at all. Toehold's looking better now. That's toehold's tighter on this yep. side for sure. Some good leverage now. Oh. Getting a facial reaction. That was wow. painful. He's yeah. not even reacting to it. He's just continuing to attack the ankle himself. Both competitors remaining calm. Mm -hmm. You never know, though. Sometimes they're really feeling it, but don't want to show it to risk. Oh, advantage. I'm sure they're feeling. They have to feel it. Whether they're going to tap from it is another issue. Yeah, we've seen uh, Hoffa Mendes in terrible footlock positions where he's limping afterwards, but he still won't tap. Side up. 
Now the leg is straightened out, yeah, much less effective. Better. It's about gone on, on the toe hold. But the ankle lock is still there. Yep. Two points, two points for, for Gee, which ties the score. But Paulo got an advantage for the toe hold, so uh, it's totally tied up now. Paulo's like, <laughs> 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 scooting back in bounds. They don't want to restart. <laughs> tied up a minute and 40 seconds. Paulo's going to run into trouble with these advantages here because this, this ankle lock certainly is going to earn an advantage. Yeah, that ankle lock definitely would have most people tapping. Yeah. It's right on the right spot. For those that say he's just working for advantages, I say let your foot be put in that position. Yeah, that's tight. So... Interesting because if Paulo gets on another leg, then he's going to get an advantage and Guy will get an advantage. Evening out those advantages. Yep. Because Guy's got one built in here. Yeah, this is. It's tough to see what, what grip Paulo has. We know which one Guy has. And if he turns on the juice, then we're looking at a. A decision either way. The crowd cheering on their respective athletes. Yeah, Guy, I thought Guy did a good job when he stood up and put his foot flat on the mat because then you're not having a foot lock attempt at all because you were 30 seconds. This, this is getting in worse position for sure. I think it's safe to say they're yelling, come on top. They are yelling, come on top. I see half the crowd pointing up. 10 seconds left. Advantage to Gee. Advantage to Gee, but Paula will get one too. Oh, they're, they're, they're trying to retract the advantage. One referee, oh, two referees. Say it's the same attack. It's the same attack. Whoa. Legs gotta be numb. Advantage to Gee. There's advantage to, to Gary. Will Paulo get an advantage? Will he get one? And the side referees are shaking their head no for the ankle lock, motioning like an ankle lock. There it is. One referee says yes for Paulo. The other one says no. Nope. Controversial. It is. One of the side referees that awarded the advantage to Apollo is shaking his head, and he's one of the most senior referees, too. That's certainly going to be controversial, but good sportsmanship displayed by the athletes to the referees right here. Yeah. I These guys know. are professionals. They respect the job that they do. I don't know how they're both walking right now. Yeah. <laughs> Paulo breaking down in tears. Foot looks pretty swollen. Over there. Oh. <laughs> but you know, even if it was tied up, okay. I would give Gee's foot lock higher priority Look over at this. Yeah, yeah. Paulo is getting a standing ovation. I see the GF team giving Paulo a standing ovation as well. That was a great, tough match. He's walking by the Gracie Baja camp, and they're giving him a standing ovation as well. 